Hi everyone and welcome to day two of our Get Seen and Start Selling Challenge. I hope that you enjoyed yesterday, I hope that you did the work and I hope that you commented and popped your bits in Dreamcatchers for accountability and to help you take the learning and implement this further. So yesterday we looked at beliefs, we looked at beliefs and fears and actually where you are right now in your business along with setting that intention for what you want to achieve by the end of this challenge. Today, we're going to dive into how you want to be seen because that's a really important part of this, right? Yes, mindset's important, but sometimes when we don't have that clarity, and this comes down to mindset as well, right? If we don't have that clarity in terms of who we are, how we show up, how we want to be seen, what our message is, who we're speaking to, if we don't have clarity on that, it can be really hard to start being seen and to be more visible because it means we don't know what to write about we don't know what to talk about when people ask us what we do we find it hard and we might babble so it's really important to get crystal clear um as possible on who you are what you do what value you bring and, and who you can help and that might sound super simple you might say well claire that's ridiculous everyone's going to know that if they've got a business but actually there's a really big difference between knowing it logically and being like having like a little script in your head in terms of this is what I do, this is how I help, blah, 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 blah. And really owning your, uh, your personal power around what you do and how you really help and really getting into alignment about how you are and how you want to show up. And that's what we're going to start looking at today. And I don't want you to be think I don't want you to be in your head around this. I want you to be in your heart around it because that's where it truly connects. And when you come from that heart centered place, that's when people feel it. That's when they connect with your message. That's when they say, wow, like this, there's something about this person. I want to connect with them. I think they can help me. I want to know more. I'm really interested. And so we want to go to that deeper, more connected place. And so the first question, which might seem really simple, but people don't often think about this is, who are you? <laughs> who are you? What makes you, you? And we all have like, we, it's not a simple question, right? Because we all have different parts of our personality. When we're in one situation, we might be very different to how we are in another situation. For example, when you, if you've got your mum hat on or you're in a mum role, you're probably quite different to how you are if you're in a coach's role or a personal trainer's role. The way that you are with your friends might be different to how you are with your in-laws. Um, we are different parts of ourselves in different situations. And that doesn't mean that we're being fake. Not at all. It's that we naturally go into those roles and, and we play those roles in a way that works for us and feels natural. But actually what I want to know and I want you to dig down deep into is at your core, like underneath these roles that you play in life, who are you really? What do you love? What are you passionate about? What drives you? What do you stand for? What really riles you up and pisses you off? Like who are you deep deep down what are your core deep beliefs about life about love about showing up about um, the choices that we make about the universe about relationships about all of those really important things that actually define your life and the way that you're living and you might be thinking well what has this got to do with growing a business um, and it's actually got everything to do with growing a business because the way you live your life, the beliefs that you have, the picture that you hold in your head about how life should be and how life should work and what um, your life should stand for, that has a direct impact on how you will build your business, how you will connect with people, who you will connect with, how you show, how you help and show up. It, it, everything is interconnected, especially if you're a sole opener, if you're a big part of your business if you grow your business on relationships and connection which is what most of us in this space will be doing right so who are you at your core and I, what i want you to do if you haven't got it right now is i want you to sit down and be really present with me during this training today so grab your journal or a bit of paper and i want you to be answering this as we go if you if you really can't and you're driving and you listen to me as i'm as you're driving say it in your head like Think, think the thoughts and say it to yourself, either out loud in the car or if you've got kids in the back or whatever, say it in your head. Um, but really, ideally, you want to sit down and work through this because that's how you're going to get the most value from it. 
So who are you at your core? What do you love? What do you stand for? What are you passionate about? What do you believe in? And what do you believe life should be? And who, who do you feel like you are? Like if you were born with this purpose inside of yourself, have you got any idea of what that purpose is? And at this point, it might be vague, and that's okay because it's not about pushing it or needing to have absolute clarity. It's just getting a bit of an idea and a feeling. So for you, it might be a picture in your head. It might be a feeling you have in your body. Just tap into that a little bit more and feel it more fully. And then let's start getting a bit more specific about how this relates to your business, how it relates to you being more visible, how it relates to you being able to share your message and to sell from that place of alignment and truth and knowing that you can make a difference for people. So I'm going to go through a few questions and I want you to answer them as we go. I'll give you a bit of space this time. I'm not, you don't need to switch me off. You should have enough time, but feel free to go back to it after you've watched this training through and go a bit deeper because we all have those initial ideas that pop up um, and that's all well and good and that's certainly better than nothing. But you want to go a bit deeper than that. You want to see what's underneath this layer that you already know. You want to dive into your subconscious a little bit more and pull out something deeper because it's the deeper stuff that connects, connects you more fully with the people you want to be working with and helping. So yes, the first question, who are you? And you should probably have answered that by now or at least noted down a couple of ideas. And if you're, if you're totally like, oh my gosh, I've got no idea, um, just, just play into it. Trust that you do know, you know who you are, you know what you believe about life. Maybe you're just overthinking it or panicking about the question because maybe you haven't thought about it before. The second question I want you to think about is, um, what what's the problem that you solve for people what's the thing that you help really help them with and if you've got a business you solve a problem um an electric company solved the problem of keeping us warm and being able to help us cook our food so don't think you've got to have um, a coaching business or something like that to be solving a specific problem for people now if you are a coach you might be saying well I solve lots of problems for people but I want you to think about like what the core of your message is what do you really solve for people if you were to chunk up uh, to its highest value what is that problem you solve for people and normally it's around having more freedom um, having more love having more money having more security it's things like that that people are really wanting in their life so maybe it's one of those things that ultimately you're giving people um so that's the second question what is the be as specific as you can with this the more specific you can be with all of your marketing and all of your messaging the more you're going to be able to directly influence and connect with those people who really need your help when you're fluffy around it and when you're like well it's all of it no one really feels like you're speaking to them um, and that's the problem and then you have to speak a lot more and share your stuff a lot more before they connect with you whereas when you go boom I can help you with this and they go oh like that's the thing that that's the thing that I worry about. That's the thing that keeps me up at night. That's the thing that's constantly on my mind. Um, in, and remember, it's chunked up. So you might be saying, well, I sell jewellery, for example. You might be thinking, well, that's not giving people freedom or love or connection or any of that stuff. But actually, it will be. You're just not aware of that. So I want you to chunk up into, well, how does this really help people? So, for example, if it is jewellery, there's probably a business opportunity that goes alongside that, which can transform people's lives. Um, even if it's not and you don't focus on that part of the business and you just focus on the products really think about how does that help people quite often it could be someone with low self-esteem and they, and they want to really build their self-esteem by having nice jewelry on it builds their self-esteem maybe it helps them feel like they have the confidence to be more visible maybe it's that you connect with them in a certain way and that gives them something really special so just really think about it because it's going to be individual to everyone and really attached to your gifts and who you are as a person it's not just about the company or business that you've got it's about who you are as well um, okay, so th the next question is, within your business, what do you stand for? What do you truly believe in? What, what really brings up that passion? So I can tell you that within my own business, the thing that really brings up my passion is when I see people just stopping themselves from going after their dreams. And I'm like, come on, like you deserve this. You have that dream for a reason. You were born with that dream inside of yourself because you are meant to go out and make it happen. And don't let your beliefs or your excuses or the stories that you're living by hold you back from living your life fully because I know for sure that 
when we're however old in the future and we're looking back on our lives, we're never going to regret the things that we did do. We're only going to regret the things that we didn't do. And the thing, what stops us from doing those things that we want to do, it, it's beliefs, it's excuses, it's saying I don't have enough time, I don't have enough money, I don't have enough experience, what will people say about me, what if I fail? It's all of that pile of excuses. And so I feel really passionate about helping people move past those excuses and getting to action and start moving towards that dream and actually making it a reality. You can probably hear the passion, right? <laughs> um, because I believe it fully. I live, I live it. Um, and it's something that I just feel so strongly about when I see people do it. And I want to help. I feel absolutely called to help people with that. And so you might feel like that. You might be dead clear and you might have that absolute calling and absolute passion about it. And that's brilliant if you do. And write that down. Like, what is it? Get it down on paper. But you might not be at that stage yet. And that's okay because none of us just start out knowing that, right? It's a journey and it's a learning. So if you're going, oh my gosh, I don't really know. Take a deep breath. Trust that you do know. And just start because by starting, you'll be able to build up that clarity. What might it be? What could it be? If you did know, what what would you say it, it might be? Like, take a guess. Um, take the pressure off yourself about being right because this is not about perfection. This is about just moving one step forward. Um, and the only way we move forward is to start to explore it. Be the detective. Explore it. What might what might it be? What might I stand for in my business? Why is my business important to me? Why does it connect with me deeply? Why am I putting in the effort? Um, why am I building this business and why do I feel like it's really important? How do I want to help people with that? So don't worry about it being perfect. Just make a start and write it down because here's the thing. We think things in our head all day long and our thoughts can go round and round and round in circles. And the way that we break those thought patterns and make it something more concrete is by writing it down. So just thinking about it isn't enough. Think about it and write it down and keep doing that process think and write and think and write and take action think and write and take action um, because that's how we move forward so the next question is what are your strengths what do you bring to this business naturally from all of your journey from all of your life so far and people forget they'll there'll have been things that you learned at school there'll have been things that you learned from friendships there'll have been things that you learned from packing the shelves at Tesco's as a 16 year old whatever it might be that there'll have been things that you learned along your journey that have given you skills and strengths that you have today that maybe you're just not recognizing and because you're not recognizing them maybe you're not leaning into them as fully as you could be so let me give you an example of this because this this was actually a bit of a realization only a little while ago um for the, some of you might not know I used to be a drama teacher so I uh, did performing arts at university and then I trained as a drama teacher and I had a job teaching dance drama and music in a secondary school which I loved which was fabulous um, and then I you know I left when I had my children and I continued my journey which isn't a story that you need to know today but I traveled to New Zealand it started a new business there I've had a couple of different businesses came back um, and started my online coaching here although I started my coaching journey in New Zealand um, and I've always found it quite easy to get on live trainings like this, I found it quite easy to press record and, 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 to, and to teach, right? But I realized that's probably for two reasons, because it's partly because I'm used to being visible because of my drama background, because I feel comfortable enough in myself to get on stage, to speak, to share my message. And secondly, because I have the teaching ability that I picked up from that. So there are skills and strengths that I've picked up from other parts of my life that really play into my business that I have right now. So what are those things for you? And don't, even if they're little tiny things, don't ignore them. Really think about that. Other strengths that you might feel like you're just born with might be strengths like really recognize a person. Maybe it's one of my strengths. I, another one of my strengths I feel like I have a lot is that I, I instinctively know what a person's feeling or what's going on for them. So within my coaching, those people, those of you who already are coached by me, you'll know, I quite often say, hey, let me tell you what I'm seeing. Let me tell you what I'm hearing. This is what I think is happening. And I'll say it back to you and 99.9% .9 of the time, it's like, oh my God, yes. Because I just feel it and I see it and I believe that that um, intuitive coaching is one of my strengths and one of my gifts that I'm meant to share so what is it with you what what is it both from your past or maybe that you were born with that you bring to this business now that you can really lean into and do more of to make the business feel easier for you 
because you're going to play on that when it comes to being more visible you want to be playing on these strengths so what are those strengths and how could you utilize them more fully in your business now so what could you be doing that you haven't been doing so i could say for example well I've been on stage when I've been performing. Um, I've been in a classroom and been teaching. Why, why could I not be on stage teaching now to a much bigger audience? Well, obviously, yes, I could be. And yes, that's something in my future that I want to be doing more of. Um, and that I've done some of already. But do you see what I mean? It's like taking it the next step. How do you take those strengths um, and how do you lean into them, incorporate them more fully so that you can build your business in a way that really feels aligned because it's comfortable because they're things that you already do. So it's not, yes, it might be stretching your comfort zone, but not too much. Uh, the next question, sorry, because I need to, <laughs> I'm going too slow probably for you. Um, when you're being the best version of you, and you'll have heard me talking about this bit, what I mean by the best version of you is not you pretending to be something that you're not, but you know those days where you're just in flow, where it feels really good, where you're in a great energy, where you're like, yes, life is brilliant, things are great, you can talk to people easily, like everything's just flowing and working. When, when you're in that version of yourself, when you're your best self, and you're full of energy and life and enthusiasm and passion and everything else, um, what does that really look like? What does it look like? What do you say to yourself when you're in that zone? How do you feel? What are the things that are going on inside of your body? How do you hold yourself? How do you stand? And I want you to just notice those things because what you want to be doing in your business when you're being seen is that you want to be presenting yourself as the best version of you. You want to be presenting the high energy, high passion, high love, high enthusiasm, real, authentic version of you that just loves life, where everything flows. And so if, for example, one of the things that you want to do, maybe when you set your intentions yesterday, you said, I want to do more Facebook lives in my business so that I can share my message more and I can connect more deeply with people. Just an example. So you said that. Well, there's a very big difference with how people might connect. If you've been having a day, a, not the best day, or you're a bit tired, you could get on and you're like, oh, hi everyone, um, this is what I do, and blah, 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 blah. And like, people aren't gonna be drawn to that energy. People are drawn to higher energy, right? And that's not pretending to be something you're not, because you've got that higher energy inside of yourself. You've got that love, that compassion. That doesn't mean it's gonna all be like rah, 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 right? It can be really calm and centered and um, grounded energy. It hasn't got to be raw, it can be So don't assume what it should be, but be that best version of you so that people show up and listen to your message. And the way that you shift into that best version of you is first just recognizing, well, how do I breathe when I'm that version of me? What do I think? What do I say to myself? Change your physiology. So, you know, when we're tired, when we're not with it, we slump, we're slower, all of that kind of thing, breathe more deeply, change your body, maybe have a jump around to up your energy before you do it, and then take a deep breath and let it go. So help yourself when it comes to taking more action, when it comes to being more visible, when it comes to using these strengths and sharing what you stand for, use them and get into your best version of you before you then do it. So are you with me? <laughs> Okay, so the next question that I've got for you is how do you want to be more visible? How and where do you want to be more visible? Is it online and offline? Is it just one or the other? Is it that you want to be doing Facebook lives? Is it that you want to be posting? Is it that you want to be doing videos? Is it that you want to be on YouTube? Is it that you want to be on Instagram? Is it that you want to be on Facebook? Is it that you want to be speaking to groups of people? Is it that you want to be doing workshops? Is it that you want to be hosting parties? Is it that you want to be able to just talk to your friends and family more easily about it? Is it that you want to feel like you can pick up the phone and have conversations and invite people to an opportunity? Is it that you want to be able to go to networking meetings and feel comfortable? What is it? And it might well be a number of those things. Now, don't go and write down like 20 because that can be a bit overwhelming but what might the top two or three things be that you really want to start doing more in your business and that you're committed to doing more of and you're going to take action on that during this time um, and what I want you to do is within our group, in terms of accountability, I want you to go in, I want you to put a hashtag, um, get seen and start selling day two. And I want you to tell us what are those areas where you are committed to being more visible, where you are going to be seen more, where you're putting yourself out there so people can see you. Um, so as I say, just decide what those two areas are for you. 
put them in the thing. Now here's where it gets interesting um, because what I would love you to do is if it is Facebook Lives, is it, if it is posts, how about as a safe, comfortable middle step, you do a video to our group. So you can go live in our group. This is an invitation. This isn't normally always something that um, people can do, but it's uh, you're very welcome to do it now. You can either pre-record a video and pop it in the group. You can go live in the group or you can do a post in the group. It's totally up to you. But share this. Take this opportunity in a safe space to explore this. And I really, really urge you to do it because it's by taking action on this that it takes a little bit of that fear away so that you can take a next step and the next step and the next step. So choose to do it now. So post in the group. And here's an example of what you could talk about. You could talk about your strengths. You could share the answers to those questions I went through just earlier with you. You could just talk about that or share something about that. So you could say, oh, you know, on today's challenge, I've been exploring my strengths, which are this, 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 and this is how it plays into my business. And this is how I can do more of it. That's just an example. You can't go wrong with this. Don't be a perfectionist about it. This is about taking action, not being perfect. Um, People love people who are human. People don't actually like people who are perfect all that much because it makes us feel uncomfortable. So be human and allow people to connect with you because you're being really human. Um, I'm going to leave it as that for today because I think I've covered loads and I don't want to make these recordings too long because they're going to take up all of your time. But go and take action on this. Enjoy it. I look forward to seeing you in the group. Uh, if you've got any questions, send them through. Go and have a fabulous day. Um, I'm doing a Facebook Live to answer any questions that you've got. Take care and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.